What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there, staying safe, and most importantly, washing them hands now. But today's video is a different one. Today we're going to dissect a Jerry Garcia solo, and specifically, it'll be the Jack Straw from 11577. I taught this lesson over Skype last week, and it's a great demonstration that shows triads, playing over the changes, chord tones, it's awesome. And just shows how, with all this improv they're doing live, Jerry is still a genius in his mind. It's awesome. So we'll take a look at that solo. I'll play it for you and we'll dissect it and see how everything works. So let's go. So everything's set up. Let's talk about the solo. But first, let's talk about the gear I'm playing. I'm using my PRS John Mayer Super Eagle into a vintage Ibanez TS10 into my Strymon Timeline, which is my looping pedal into my Strymon Flint for some reverb, into my usual amp, the Hot Rod Deluxe. Let's engage the looper and check out the solo. So that's the solo, let's zoom in more on the guitar and take a more in-depth look at it. So before we go into dissecting this whole solo, let's check out what's happening around it with the chords. The chords would be D major, B minor, A, E, right? And if you know your triads, you could play it all in the same place up here. D. B minor, A major, E major, and with the solo, it would be something like this. One more time slower. Right? So now let's zoom in, as usual, and see what's really happening. So here we are, as always, zoomed in like every one of my lesson videos, classic. And again, the chord in this same area, all with triads would be D major, B minor, A major, E major. Right? So the cool thing with the solo, it has triads, chord tones, everything it's awesome so literally the first line he's spelling out that D major now go to the A because you can almost say it as like the B minor would be this D which would be the third then the A would come now because he's sliding from the 12th fret of the B string which is that B which is the ninth of the A Sliding up to the 14th fret of the B string, which is the C sharp, which is the third of the A chord, right? Then landing on the 12th fret of the high E string, which is the fifth of the E chord, right? Now, time to go to the E chord. 
C sharp, which is the sixth, and it land on the B, which is the fifth of the E chord. Right? Genius! Right? And he does this cool thing where he goes. Right? Back to the top now. Landing on the A, which is the fifth of that D. And then spells out a triad. Right? That comes from that triad, right? So cool. Triad. B minor triad now, right? He goes D, B minor. Right? C sharp would indicate he goes now to A. Landing on that G sharp, which is the third of E. Right? Now we're in E major. Right? Now back to the D. The second part. Isn't that awesome? Triads. I mean, so obvious. Chord tone. And now pure E major scale. Genius, and this is all improvised. So cool. So the whole thing up to there would be So now let's take a look at part two of this cool solo. So cool. Remember, this is all improvised. And if you notice already, we're starting off again with the exact same idea as part one, a D major triad. But we added that six, third, right? Sorry, B minor. Right? D. B minor. D. B minor. Genius! Right? Now we're on A. Right? B, D minor, A. Now we're gonna Go to that E and slide back down to that C sharp, still in candy run A. And now go to E. Ready? D, B minor, E. Then 
That's awesome. And what I love is that when he goes to that E, he just does E power chord, or E triad, and goes down descending to that D to finish the solo, which I think is so cool. Genius, genius, genius. So again, D, B minor, A, E. And then the triad from E to D. Isn't that so cool? Triads, chord tones, awesomeness. So again, both parts together, slowly. and you can clearly hear every chord that's happening. I love how he does the triads. And he lands on the third or the fifth of each chord to indicate that's the new chord he's on. So cool, one more time, slower. And that is the genius of Jerry Garcia. Well, all right, guys, that's today's video. I guess you call it my first Jerry Garcia solo breakdown video. Hope you had fun. I sure did. Learning the solo was awesome and so eye-opening as how Jerry would play these solos, chord tones, triads, literally spelling out triads as the solo is happening and all these embellishments he had. So cool. Also, you have to remember this is all improvised on the spot. Just the genius of Jerry Garcia, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to make it happen. And until then, please subscribe, comment, and like this video. And I'll see you guys next time.